Join us now to weigh in, actress and Fox News contributor Stacey Dash. Stacey, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, what do you think about this? I think it's ludicrous. Why? Because we have to make up our minds. Either we want to have segregation or integration. And if we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards and the Image Awards, where you're only awarded if you're black. If it were the other way around, we would be up in arms. It's a double standard. So you say there shouldn't be a BET channel? No, I don't think so, no. Just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, we're Americans, period. That's it. Are you saying there shouldn't be a Black History Month because there isn't a White History Month? Exactly, exactly. Wow. So we been stripped her, fe her feathers for this interview alone. Like, yeah. that's just known. But it kind of gets worse. So recently, actress Janet Hubert, now we know her as Aunt Viv the in the one. 90s sitcom, sitcom Fresh Prince of Bel the black one, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And she said in a HuffPost live interview that Stacey Dash needs to get her story straight and that somebody needs to slap the little bit of black off her. Ooh. She's even said that Dash's criticism of Black History Month and BET doesn't even make sense because Dash has worked on BET more than most actresses have. Mm -hmm. Now, according to... Um, According to Hubert, Dash is simply making herself a pawn for the media. I kind of agree, and I disagree a little bit, but we'll talk about that. And that she puts the struggle of the community way back. She says, I think she's just saying this kind of bull because she wants sensationalism, and she's working for Fox, and she needs a job, and she's making a check. I definitely agree. You think so? To put herself out there on that caliber and say such things, and she always says outrageous things, but to say that, that's a little steep for me. To me, and I don't agree with anything that she says. I think maybe what she was trying to say got misconstrued or whatever in her opinion and how right, she right. voiced it. But to me, I think what we have to realize is that there is not, there is no white month or Caucasian month or Caucasian or Caucasian school because they already have an, a built-in platform right. that whatever is Agreed. the norm is considered white you know right. what i'm saying so whereas when you have african all Amer african american schools these schools were created because there was a lack of diversity right and these people could not go into these other colleges so they had to create these all black colleges you know what i'm saying and then they became historically black colleges they do accept caucasian people right. and asian people and whoever else wants to come but they their history is based off the fact of the matter that there were no schools that would educate young African Americans. Not only that, I think that is very hard. There's a lot of networks like her talking about BT and being on the game and and acting on BT on BT Network so many times as an actress to kind of say that there shouldn't be a BT Network. Now that really baffles me because there, th what other network do you know would play? majority of african-american shows with all african-american cast playing our videos playing this is our third and then to say that we don't even need a black history the thing is we do because we don't learn about it in our schools our children don't learn about it all we know is slavery and we don't really even still till this day a lot of people don't know our history so it's very important and and kind of like necessary like it has to be there and it's sad that it's even shortened to such a, a small length of time so for her to kind of just say like we don't need it because that's kind of another form of segregation um ding dong we've always been segregated it's us trying to kind of let y'all know what our culture is and who but, we are and get our recognition but cele celebrating celebration excuse me of your culture doesn't mean that you're negating another right. culture you know what i'm saying and at the same point in time if we're going and what people to me fail to realize is that they're always just like like someone like her oh why do you need a black history month well in that case why do we have women's history right. month why do we have asian history month why do we have hispanic so why do we have columbus day you know what i'm saying you have telemundo no one's saying oh please get rid of telemundo Tele right. telemundo is for spanish people right you have the um the not the telenovela uh the awards for latina women latino and latina women that is, it's not saying that, hey, you as a Caucasian or you as a black right. person or you as an Indian person can't attend. But we want something that we're going to celebrate our culture because at the end of the day, the norm is already prescribed as being white, as being Caucasian. So Agreed. to me, I think she has been on Fox a little too long and she is the token. She needs something. Yeah. And I think, honestly, she wants to stay kind of relevant. You know what I'm saying? And I think 
she's going for shock value a little bit and I think that she's a bit ignorant. I think that she really believes that. I, I think that it's a mixture, but I think that in her mind, she truly believes that. But after all the criticism and all the comments and people Tom. talking about her, talking about her, she kind of took to her social media platform and she said, now copping a plea, I'm not saying we as black people deserve less respect. I'm saying we deserve more. That's not what you said the first time. But anyway, black history should be a part of social studies and history curriculum every day of every day of every month of every year. So Dash also added black history is American history. We are not a category or a special interest group. We are Americans. So she explained that she feels it's not fair to limit the accomplishments of people like Martin Luther King, Barack Obama, Frederick Douglass, and other people just into a month. That's what she says after getting the backlash. And she continued saying... Our accomplishments cannot be limited to 28 days. Do not listen to the liberals who try to limit you, to put you in a box, to tell you that you must believe one way or another that you cannot think for yourselves and that the government can't give you a special month. Now, that sounds good, but that's not originally what you, what said. you said. Originally, you said we have to make up our minds. Either we want to have segregation or integration. And if we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards and the Image Awards, where you're only awarded if you're black. If it were the only way around, we would be up in arms. If it was the other way around, excuse me, we would be up in arms. It's a double standard. But everywhere else we look, all we see is Caucasians. Hashtag Oscar so white. Oscar so white. Everywhere else you see predominantly Caucasian actors schools right you 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 see predominantly american or oh, white excuse me white americans and i forgot who was the person who said this quote and it just popped in my head but they were saying how little caucasian children are not taught that you need to strive to be the best because right. it's already instilled, it's already in them instilled in them that you're going to be the best you know Fact. what i'm saying yeah so i don't think I get what she's trying to say now that she's trying to like reverse it and saying that it needs to be a part but of that's American not what you culture. said though but th- but you need to word it better because the way you set up there and you said it on Fox News you said it as if like screw that you don't need BET we don't need Black History Month and at the end of the day no matter what there are, are still a lot of people in this country who are prejudiced against other kinds besides themselves so you need these months to be able to show that these cultures are important and if you're going to give it a black history month you got to get rid of all the other months give it a life very well said jesse ray so we're going to definitely strip your feathers not only for your statement in the original interview but also for kind of switching your words and your perspective after you got all you got fired fired on lit under your ass on social media and from all artists and just people in general i feel like once once you went on that interview and you said those things prior to because you always do prep work in your career whether you're an actress a radio broadcaster whatever a teacher whatever there's always prep work so you should have been properly prepared to kind of bring in your perspective and changing your words as you did when you wrote this like it should not have came out that way if this is what you meant so we're definitely knocking you down a whole bunch of notches and stripping your feathers and i kind of want to end featherless flamingos before we go into our quick music break and our final toast with gabrielle union who's that who's stacia dash is she like related to dame dash was she on rockefeller she did speak about Manning BET and Black. I, I heard of a crazy lady once, maybe last week, but I don't know what her name is. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like why there's a need for the Birth of a Nation and why there's a need for the Country Music Awards and, and the Alma Awards. If you don't see yourself reflected in mainstream awards, you tend to create your own. And um, until there's not no longer a need for that, um, I celebrate the Almas in the same way I celebrate the Country Music Awards and the same way I celebrate the BET Awards and the Image Awards, which, you know, we'll all be at um, in, a, in a couple weeks. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, the more, uh, in, the more that we uh, focus on inclusion and a true representation of this country, um, I think that Crazy Lady will, will have less to say. Quick music break and our final toast with Gabrielle Union. And she kind of throws shade when she's asked, and Love she's her. so unbothered when she's asked about who is that? Who's Stacey, who's Stacey Listen, Dash and how she, do you feel about it? She ain't trying to lose her job with being so Mary unbothered. Jane. So unbothered. We'll be right back. 